Debbie Marcou is licensed by the Department of Business Oversight under the California Residential Mortgage Lender Act, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona, 0941504, Florida, 76508, Georgia, 69178, Illinois, 031.0058339, Nevada, 57237, Oregon, Tennessee, 184373, Texas, Washington, 237926. Heidi Cycle Points, DBO, 1666881, Arizona, 101648. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done. When you're in need and don't know where to go, pick up the phone and call mom. Hi, this is Debbie Marcoux, the mortgage mom. All right, well, today's home buyer education is going to be on the bank statement program. So we have talked week after week about all of the different loan programs that are available. And if this is the first time that you are tuning in to watch, you want to know more about FHA, VA, conventional, USDA, Jumbo, we've hit them all. Just go to YouTube, check out our workshop series on our playlist, Homebuyer Workshop 2021, and you can listen to all of those different loan programs and see which one might fit best for you. But today we're going to talk about bank statements, and this is for all my self-employed borrowers out there. We all try to show the tax man a little bit less than what we actually make. So sometimes that makes it a little bit difficult to qualify for that home that you want to buy. And We've got a solution for that. It's our bank statement program. But first, we're going to get into all, a couple of how do you contact us if you have questions about what I'm talking about today. If you've got, uh, you want to just run a scenario past us, you need us to look at the information, get you pre-approved. All you have to do is give us a call. It's 844-935-3634. Um, let's see if this works for me. Okay, so here we go. All right. So on top of calling us, you guys can download the phone app. There is so much great information on that phone app for you. All kinds of tools, everything you could need while you are out there trying to shop to figure out what might that mortgage payment look like? How much might you qualify for? We've got an affordability calculator in there. And let me just tell you that whatever that number is that comes up on that affordability calculator, we are going to get you qualified for more than that. It is very conservative as long as you are putting in the correct numbers. And it really does come down to, are you putting in the correct numbers? But we will determine that for you when you're ready. So through the phone app, you guys can actually contact us. You can send us an email. You can call us. um, You can go to our website. You can listen to our podcast. If you guys like podcasts, you can apply for your loan. You can watch these workshops. They're right there for you. Uh, Tons that you can do with that, with that phone app. So what do you guys do? Well, text the word mom to 36260. You'll get that link and you'll go ahead and save that to your home screen and you are ready to go. So once again, the best tool you could have in your toolbox for purchasing a new home is the Mortgage Mom Radio phone app. Go ahead and text the word mom to 36260. So here we go. What is next? How do you contact us? So I already gave you my phone number in a little bit earlier, but you've got the the phone app already. We've got that listed on the screen. You can check us out on Facebook if that's one of the social media hubs that you like to use. We've got YouTube, of course, where we're live every Wednesday at five. You can watch us do the show, ask us your questions, put them right into the feed, and we're going to answer them for you. You can see us do it live. Um, You're going to give us a call or go to Google and Yelp. Check us out. See what other people are talking about. See what kind of reviews we've had. If we've helped you in any way and you're listening to this and we've given you information or advice that you need, please Google us. Tell somebody how much you liked it. It really does help us for you uh, to do that for us. So please help the algorithm just a little bit. So here we go. Bank statement program. What do we got? All right. So once again, I just said it a little bit earlier, but it is for our self-employed borrowers using 12 to 24 months of your business and personal bank statements rather than using full income to qualify. So instead of getting those tax returns and trying to look at what you've uh, made and what you've written off and what is your net, that's very difficult sometimes for that self-employed borrower. We're going to actually look at your bank statements. We're going to get between 12 and 24 months, and it depends on the program. Interest rate will be a little bit better when you supply us with more information. So keep that in mind. Um, But between 12 and 24 months of bank statements, depending on you, your down payment, we're going to look at all of the deposits that have come in and we are going to determine what your income is by, by actually adding those up. Now, mind you, if you bought something on Amazon and it didn't work out and you returned it, 
that deposit doesn't go towards your income. If you have uh, cash that's going in and your business is not one uh, that would be a normal cash kind of business, probably not going to let you use that cash. So we are going to be looking at where did the deposit come from, but if it was normal business, ordinary income that was being deposited into your account, we're going to go ahead and we're going to calculate that income to, to start. That's where we're going to start with where's the gross of your income. Um, then what we're going to do from there, and I'm not going to get into this next piece that I just forwarded, uh, but we are going to then have you create us a profit and loss statement, and we are going to have your CPA write us a letter letting us know what the average percentage of uh, costs or uh, write-offs are for your business. You know, what are your actual carrying costs? What are your expenses? So does that usually run you 15% or 20% or 30% of that gross income? And then from there, that is how we'll calculate how much income that we will use on a monthly basis to qualify you for the loan. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, the loan limit does go as high as $5 million with exceptions up to $10 million on these loan programs. I can tell you I've not done a loan this high. So even though they say that they do it, I'm not going to promise that we can get that done. Uh, most recently, we've had a bank statement loan that was approved for three and a half million. Um, so, you know, they do exist and it is possible. Now, obviously you do need to have down payment and based on the loan balance that you are trying to get, or purchase price of the home and your credit score, uh, how much do you have in reserves left at the end of the day will determine how much that you actually need in down payment. And of course, the income that we calculate will determine how much that you could qualify for in that loan amount. But they do have very high loan limits. So if you're looking in that jumbo arena, you are not uh, thrown out. You are not dis discontinued. You can ab absolutely uh, get this loan. So um, we've got down payments as low as 10%. So I did recently price one out for a client that was looking at a $600,000 purchase and um, they wanted the options between 10% down and 20% down. And I was able to do that for them. Uh, this is not, I know that we talk a lot about California because we are literally located here in uh, Southern California, but this program does exist in other states as well. So don't feel like you've been, um, you know, taken out of the program because maybe you're thinking about it from Texas. So there are some states that maybe it is not available in, maybe the lender that we use is not licensed in that state. But for the most part, the majority of the states that I am licensed in, we can offer this bank statement program. Texas, uh, specifically, I know for a fact, I just priced one out there uh, within the last couple of weeks. So um, it's, it's a great program, definitely one that you can utilize. And you just have to give us a call and we'll go through the specifics with you to determine, you know, what would a loan, a bank statement loan look like like for you personally. So this is allowed on a purchase or a refinance, which is kind of nice. A lot of people don't realize that either. So you can do this to buy a home, but you can also do it to refinance and you can cash out. So if you've been looking for money to get a cash out on your home, you can absolutely do a bank statement program for that. One thing to keep in mind, Again, states all can be just a little bit different, their lending laws, is that Texas does not allow cash out on a primary residence. You can only take cash out from an investment property. So if you're doing a bank statement program and it's your owner occupied property, then we would not be able to do cash out. But most states do not have that rule. Cash out is allowed and you can do that right, right there with your bank statement program. So purchase or free refinance, not a problem. Um, these are the basics of the bank statement program, something I wanted to just get it out there. We've been talking about it for a while. We've got a lot of self-employed borrowers, especially here in California. It seems like that's the name of the game. Everybody owns their own business. Everybody's running their own ship or even somebody that's, you know, working, you know, Uber Eats or their, um, you know, DoorDash or, you know, one of those um, ship, you know, the the shipped uh, people that are out, you know, shopping at Target for you. You know, everybody's now, you guys are getting 1099s and you're uh, filing your Schedule C, you know, income. And so the, the bank statement program is a great program, but you do have to be um, 
self-employed for at least two years. So that is something important to think about. And again, if you're just wondering what you can do, what, what might you be able to qualify for, the best thing that you can do is give us a call. We're going to get those bank statements from you. We're going to run our, you know, do the analyzing of the bank statements to determine the income. We're going to tell you once again, what you need to get us from your CPA, get us that profit and loss statement, and we're going to get you all pre-approved and ready to go. And you can get out there and buy a home, even if you don't have those tax returns. So once again, if you have any questions whatsoever, you give us a call. It's 844 844- 935-3634. You can find us anywhere at all. If you type into, you know, your search engine, Mortgage Mom Radio, go to go to Google, type in Mortgage Mom Radio, we will come up. You can find us on YouTube, which is where you're watching this video. Uh, you can hear us on the radio Saturday mornings. You guys can um, listen to us by podcast anywhere at all that you listen to podcasts. You can find us Everything is Mortgage Mom Radio. So don't forget the radio, but you can get us. Uh, MortgageMomRadio.com is the website. Send us a message there. You can uh, contact us right through the website. And again, if you've got that phone app, you guys can send me an email directly. So, you know, get the phone app, text the word mom to 36260. I hope you enjoyed this bank statement program um, home buyer workshop. And we'll be back with the next one. We're moving on to closing costs. Hope you guys have a good one.